morning, dumb kitchen shoppers. Don't hesitate, come around, come around. Good morning. So my name is Lamar Moore. I'm the executive chef at 1111 a Restaurant in uh, West Town. Uh, happy to be here at Dom's Kitchen, uh, cooking up some fun uh, food, which we'll talk about in a second. I um, want to talk a little bit about Dom's Kitchen and Market. So everything that I'll be cooking here, uh, you, can, is a, you can purchase here inside of the store. And also the recipe for this is also on Dom's Kitchen Online. You can also find the same recipe uh, at my restaurant as well. Um, we're going to talk about the produce here at Dom's Kitchen, and uh, I have a heavy steak and seafood background, so just to give you a little synopsis of myself, I've been in the restaurant business for 21 years. Um, you may have seen me on TV, I've done Food Network three times recently. I was a winner of Vegas Chef Prize Fight, where I was awarded uh, the uh, face and space of Bugsy and Myers in a Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas. I've also been on Beat Bobby Flay, I've also done uh, Food Network's Chopped and also Bravo. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is we're talking about steak. So a lot of people, especially over the last year, getting away from eating a lot of meat. And what I wanted to do was do something different and not forget about the vegetarian. So again, talking about this market and all the great vegetables, we're going to do a really simple cauliflower steak. So uh, what I'm doing is I have some fresh cauliflower cut um, at about 14 to 12 ounces, also keeping the rib in there. I have some peanuts that I'm lightly toasting here on the grill. I have a little bit of Maldon sea salt mixed with black pepper. There's some curry powder, a little bit of Aleppo. I like a lot of spice in there to give it some flavor. Some really good extra virgin olive oil. There's some raisins. So the raisins are being soaked in a little bit of apple cider vinegar and going with fresh herbs. There's some fresh cilantro, fresh dill. And then we're gonna make a little uh, honey tahini yogurt sauce to kind of glaze right over the top. So really simple, fun, especially now we get into the summer months, everyone's grilling outside. You can also uh, cook these in a pan too if you like and also cook in the oven. So now we're going to get started. We'll let these uh, toast up a little bit. So first on our cauliflower steaks, I'm going to brush a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on there. Um, and this is one of my favorite olive oils here. You can look at some this and seasonings here. This so olive oil has a lot of good flavor. and. Um, really good uh, high oil content for uh, throwing on the grill. What I want to get here too is a really nice char on the cauliflower. It gives a little bit of flavor, a little bit of color too. So we're going to brush a nice amount of olive oil on both sides. Please, if any of you guys in front too, if you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask as we're going through. You can also mimic this if you don't want to use cauliflower, you can use broccoli, but I want to mimic an actual steak. So, you know, in a restaurant, we serve steak on the menu, but I don't want the vegetarians to feel left behind not having, being able to enjoy a steak as well. The reason why I chose uh, Aleppo pepper and curry, I like the flat, I like those spices marrying together. Um, they add, and they add a little bit of versatility, a little bit more char. Uh, the raisins are soaking in the apple cider vinegar, so you kind of get a sweet and tangy flavor. And then you get a little bit of sweetness too from the uh, honey and a little bit of bite from the tahini. So I'm going to brush the other side too. One other thing I'll talk about too, when I'm cutting these cauliflower steaks, I ended up with some of those in pieces. And I'll, I know right now everyone's saving a lot of money. I don't throw those away. I'm actually going to throw those on the grill. If you're familiar with barbecue, I have a little barbecue background. So I'm also going to season these up the same way. I'm going to char them. And even on my events menu, I call it uh, cauliflower burnt ends. So if you know from Kansas City barbecue, they take the deckle off the beef, they chop them up, toss a little bit of barbecue sauce, and make little nuggets out of them. So again, instead of using beef, I'm using cauliflower. So I'm going to do cauliflower burnt ends on there as well. So we're going to season. Um, a little bit of salt and pepper. Now I have this grill on a very, very high heat. It's already been pre-oiled, meaning I took a towel with a little bit of oil to brush it down so it doesn't stick. I know a lot of you are getting ready for uh, 4th of July, do a little bit of grilling at home. This would be a nice accompaniment uh, as a side dish or as, a, as an entree for those of you that are vegetarians or, or want something, a different vegetarian option. 
So after salt and pepper, with a curry. Again, I'm putting a vigorous amount on there. It's gonna give a lot of color, a lot of flavor, a little bit of heat, a little bit of spice. Plus the aroma. Imagine being in your backyard grilling and someone's trying to figure out what you guys got going on in the backyard. Again, both sides. What's that? This curry. This one here is, this is a simply organic curry powder. Yeah. Simply, simply. <laughs> go too heavy on it. It is a little spicy. It's Aleppo pepper. But I love Aleppo pepper and everything. Like when I cook my eggs, I put Aleppo pepper on top as a garnish. Um, but it has a really, really good aroma and really good flavor. And if you want to, if you're grilling, you can pre-season these the day before with the oil in there and then just take them out, throw them on the grill. So the other thing I have here, as you see, I have some peanuts. So I'm taking some peanuts, unsalted. I've chopped them a little bit and I'm toasting them. The reason why I'm toasting the peanuts is to give a nice little nutty flavor. And that's gonna be a nice garnish on top of our cauliflower stick and give a nice little crunch as well. Now with the steaks, you can cut them as thin or as thick as you want. Again, my goal, put them on a plate, is to mimic actually having, you know, instead of a beef steak or a pork steak, to actually have a cauliflower steak as the focal point. And then I know we talked about our burnt ends, which I'll go ahead. You can leave the crowns large if you want, or a little bit of small or, or smaller while they're in the bowl. I'm just gonna toss everything in a bowl and let them heavily char on, on the side of the grill. If you decide you don't wanna do a grill, and obviously grilling season ends in, in this state or in the Midwest, you can throw them in the oven. I would take them in the oven at 500 degrees, uh, oil sheet pan, toss them with the uh, spices and then roast them in the oven. You take them out and then we'll, well, I'll show you once I put all the accoutrements in there. Um, it can, you can use this as a nice appetizer and you can use this as an entree. So same here. A little bit of Aleppo. Curry. Salt and pepper. Give it a nice chef toss. <laughs> and don't be shy on the oil. Those are nice and toasted. You grill a lot at home? You grill at home? No? <laughs> no? Not today? Maybe today? No? All right. Oh, so you're the cook, huh? That's how I grew up in my house, too. I, my, my grandmother was a cook, so uh, how I got into cooking, um, my grandmother had a farm in Mississippi, and so every summer my brothers and I would go up to Mississippi, we go grab food, uh, my grandmother cooked for a lot of people that couldn't cook for themselves, and that's how I got into the industry. I kind of got kicked and boasted into the industry, and now 21 years later I'm still doing it. So that's what I'm looking for here, it should be a really good trial on there, let it go a lot longer. What's that? You know, with the curry, it's not that spicy. It's the Aleppo that's going to add a lot of kick to it. Once you add Aleppo to it and the oil start to accentuate with, with the cauliflower, it, it has a nice kick to it. And I, you know, and again, I don't mind that because then you're going to get the spiciness from the Aleppo, a little bit of heat from the curry, and then you get the coolness from the tahini and yogurt glaze on there. You get a little bit more sweetness with the, uh, with the raisins. So it's kind of sweet and spicy. And like my palate, I love to eat sweet and spicy. 
And we'll talk about this here now. So, because we have salt and pepper here, I like to have a balance in flavor. I won't put any salt and pepper in, in the tahini yogurt mix. What I want is to get a little bit of the, the nuttiness from the sesame seeds, which is the ground up tahini paste, a little bit of sweetness from the honey, and then a little bit of creaminess from the yogurt. And you'll see as it all comes together, you got a nice char, nice little creaminess, a little bit of nuttiness from the uh, peanuts, and then we'll garnish with some fresh dill and fresh cilantro. So I have some organic yogurt here, and this is unseasoned, unflavored. You, if you want to add flavor to it, maybe vanilla, vanilla, vanilla notes would be nice in there, but I try to stay just simple as possible. So yogurt. A bit of tahini. I'm gonna stir it because the oil the oil is released in the tahini. Just a tad bit of honey. Now with the honey, it's up to you depending on how sweet you want it. I don't want it to be too sweet where it's overpowering, but just enough to give it some flavor. And of course, a taste test. <laughs> Gotta taste your food. <laughs> right, that's good. So we're gonna give our cup. One thing I'm looking for too when I'm doing a cauliflower, just like cooking on a grill, it starts to turn a little dark on the edges, which lets me know there's some good caramelization going on there. Don't worry about it falling apart, some may fall. And we'll just add it to our uh, yeah, a little nuggets, little uh, burn ends, nuggets. <laughs> and that's what you want there. Really nice, good amber char. <laughs> What's that? Hey, I do it all the time. I had to trick my mom into eating cauliflower. My mom hates cauliflower, but I know she loves tahini and honey. And so I just glazed it up really nicely. She said, what's on the bottom? And I said, oh, just try it. She's like, no, I don't want it. Just try it. She just took a bite out of it. She said, oh, you tricked me. This is cauliflower, but it's good. I'm like, you got to try something new. Try to eat your vegetables. <laughs> um, the other thing you can use too, like, if I don't use cauliflower, um, I've done broccolini, same way, but I blanch it first, meaning that I cook it in a little bit of salt water with a little lemon juice, and then I throw it on a grill with the curry and the Aleppo pepper in there and do it the same exact way. This, this recipe is very versatile for broccolini, for broccoli, for a cauliflower. Um, I, I try to stay within those rams because curry holds up really, really nice with these vegetables. Asparagus, not too much, only because asparagus breaks down too much, too fast. You could do it without the yogurt or just have maybe have the yogurt on the side as a dipping sauce, but it'd be a nice grilled option on there with the curry, the Aleppo, um, and then have the honey glaze on the side, and then chopped peanuts on top. If you don't like peanuts or don't want to use peanuts, you can use almonds. Almonds work great, great as well. All right, we're gonna take one off here that's pretty close. Plate it up. What I appreciate is the flavor, the colors, um, and again, it gives something different. It's so many people now are, I never would have thought that being a year in your house, you start to <laughs> become more health conscious. I mean, I know I have, I, I guess, I'm trying to get rid of my Dunlop disease. I have too much too much belly over my belt, so 
This is actually something that I enjoy eating as well. All right, so cauliflower steak here. these a little bit closer. So a little bit of glaze on top. All right, raisins. And the acid from the vinegar will help cut through as well. The vinegar I use is actually one of my favorites, the Bragg apple cider. It works really, really good. And it's also good for you too. So a little bit of raisins. Chopped peanuts. Fresh dill. That's a cauliflower steak. Well, since you're here, how about that? You're welcome. Like I said, our recipe is pretty simple, easy. That was roughly like seven, eight minutes on the grill. So if you don't want to cook, now this is an opportunity for you to cook. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I like to keep the recipes very simplistic. So like this one here is Super simple, easy, fun. I usually get my, my nephew, he likes cooking in the kitchen with me, so I get him involved sometime. And we'll cook, cook, cook up some things and try to get him to eat a little bit more healthy. He see green and he run away, so. <laughs> Got one there. All right, char is good. Really good flavor on there. You get the aromas, the smells. That nice. So I know we talked a little bit about the uh, burnt ends or cauliflower burn ends. Obviously you see they cook a little bit quicker. So if you want it, literally the same way. Anybody else want to try? Huh? You're welcome. How's it going? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like I said, all, all these ingredients I have here, you can find in the stores and recipes online as well. What do you think?
What's that? What? Restaurant's called 1111. Uh, the address is 1111 West Lake. No, West Loop. Nina, how are you? How are you? I'm great, great. Cooking up some delicious cauliflower steak from the garden here with some fresh herbs. Also got some um, what I call barbecue cauliflower burnt ends or the tips that we cut from the steaks. Um, Bob, how are you? You too. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Got a little bit of uh, honey yogurt? Oh, yeah. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, Bob. I know. I know. Don't go anywhere. A little bit of pickled uh, raisins on there. Bob's sneaker bag in the kitchen. Yeah. Good to have you back here with me. Yeah, so I took the peanuts, slightly toasted the peanuts here. This is the Aleppo pepper curry powder. That is the Maldon Sea Salt mixed with black pepper. And then here's my tahini honey yogurt. Oh, thank you. Well, there you are. There. Happy lunch. Very good. My pleasure. There you go. My pleasure. Not bad? Oh, thank you. I, you know what I say? Really, really simple cooking, but. Let the grill do the work. The flavors are the fresh ingredients. <laughs> Pops like where I belong, right? <laughs> oh yeah. We'll do it. What did you put on the cauliflower before you put it in there? So what I did was I took the cauliflower, cut it in I brushed with a little bit of olive, extra virgin olive oil. Then there's curry powder, which is a spice. So there's a little spice to it. I got some toasted peanuts, so I chopped them, lightly toasted, unsalted. <laughs> then in here, there is a little bit of uh, organic yogurt, some organic honey, and a little bit of tahini, which is sesame paste. So after that, I throw them on the grill, let them get a nice char, which I have here. And then on top, that's where I take a little bit of the uh, yogurt. And I was explaining earlier too, if you don't grill or don't have a grill in your home, you can take this same methodology, roast in your oven at 500 degrees to get a good char on there. And when I cut the steaks, I end up with these little nuggets, what I have left, so I don't throw those away. You know, if you're familiar with barbecue tournaments and burn ins, and you can have that too as, as, a, as a garnish. So I have the yogurt on top. So these raisins are, are soaked in a little bit of apple cider vinegar, which apple cider vinegar is good for you too, and it adds a little bit of bite and a little bit of balance. Yeah, the chopped peanuts. It is. Better. Yeah, so everything I have here is inside this store. These are the raisins. That's the, I love Bragg's apple cider vinegar, so I have that. That's the Maldon sea salt I have here. Uh, the curry powder I have right there, simply organic curry powder. There is the uh, Aleppo pepper there. Everything here. I like cilantro and dill on there. It's got a nice little balance. It goes really, really good with cauliflower. Absolutely. No, 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 you can't have any. No, 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 no. No food for you. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah. My pleasure. Yes, you sure can. You know, from time to time, I get that too in the restaurant. So I'll use, um, if someone is like dairy free or they don't want like a lot of heavy dairy, I'll use like, it's called vegan A's. Yep. And so I'll substitute with that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you know, and that's what I was saying. I'm learning as I'm learning as a chef, we're starting to get a lot of people, you know, their either dietary restrictions yeah. are changing or they're just changing, their, changing how they eat. Um, so like right now, I have a burger on the menu and I love garlic aioli, which I put on there. Uh -huh. um, and then I'll get vegan, so I make an impossible with 
um, tomato jam, and then I use a vegan ve yeah. and also a vegan bun. The vegan is actually not bad. Um, no. Really? Yeah, sometimes it's kind of Yeah, you know what? When I tried it, I was, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was surprised. Yeah. You know, as a chef, we like to keep all our fat right. in our food, right. so. Yeah. Do you think I could try some without, I can't have dairy. Absolutely. Yeah, my pleasure. I know. Yeah, and that's, that's my point, you know, and that's the reason why I would talk about injecting so much flavor. If you have someone that has a dietary restriction, you know, the, it has to be omitted, which is not an issue at all. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you guys. My pleasure. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm a huge meat guy and to be able to, you know, have a different type, different take on that. You too. You too. Thank you. There's one without. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I want all the <laughs> You said give me everything, right? Yeah.